Hello everybody. Welcome to my videos. It's been a long time since I've been on here, but I wanted to get on here and share a little bit of some of my thoughts <clears throat> of how things are going. Uh, not done much genealogy, nor been anywhere to do any videos. So uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. Been trying to, it's been cold weather now, so I've been trying to do some uh, work here at the house. You can hear the dryer banging in the background, so I'm trying to help Stacy out and do a little bit of that. Waiting on warmer weather to come so I can do some work here on the farm, but I just wanted to jump on here and, and give you a few of my thoughts and just kind of thought, I want to see what you all thought. I was watching a uh, documentary about um, Buckhorn Lake and Bowling Town on KET here the other night, and... Um, it was very interesting. It really come, made me think. The mentality has always been in Eastern Kentucky for the uh, the hillbilly, uh, the unlearned, what, whatever you want to name, whatever stereotype you want to put on that. They have um, the, the they need to get on to bigger and better things, and uh, they need to move away from the from the ignorant place they live and moved to a more urban setting like Dayton. This was the, the mentality and still is somewhat. Um, uh, the shame is there's really not enough work here to make a living, uh, a good substantial living here uh, economically. So my, my uh, son, Bryson Clark, he lives in Indianapolis, works for a refinery. And my nephew, he worked at Middletown, Ohio, but he came home now is working at the brickyard, working very hard and for a lot less pay. So that's the mentality, you know, that you move away to do bigger and better things. But what's amazing about the, the, the ironic thing about that is these people move away and make their money. And, but when they come back to retire or when they come back to, um, do uh you know that the, they want to come back they don't want to live in that high price city and have all the conveniences they want to come back to home uh, they want to come back to where home is and uh, it's cheaper to live here and it's you know it's more laid back uh, so so it's kind of a funny thing that that when one thing one mindset you're being pulled to uh to, to leave <laughs> and then uh another time people's coming here uh to beat the rat race so uh, it's a shame that we have to go out of our area, uh, to make money and then come back to keep our money, uh, or just live here like me and not have no money, uh, would be the best, uh, is my best, uh, thing. I enjoy living here and, and, uh, money is not everything. Uh, I'm very blessed and, and being able to, uh, pastor a church and, and have a uh, farm and cattle and, and we're, we're very blessed with that, but, I just wanted to share my thoughts on that and uh, kind of wanted to see what you all thought about that. And uh, I, I'm just here in the house today and I thought I might get on here and share with you. And uh, maybe you can, uh, you know, comment below. Um, we'd like for you to, to like and subscribe to the channel if you're, if you're not already subscribed. Uh, and uh, shoot me a message here or I'll put my email in the description. And we hope that you can uh, come along and, and whatever journey the Lord takes me on here uh, with this channel. Uh, I've neglected it very badly and I'll try to uh, get back in the swing of things. Cemetery wise, genealogy wise, um, I did find some things uh, here recently in a passing uh, glance at a store ledger from my great great grandpa. I found a store account of his. That's mainly the the only thing that I've really found uh, for John Hampton Flannery, uh, those who may know him, uh, he had a store account in a, in a, on a store uh, on 504. And I, I found the book, it's at the Laurel Gorge Cultural Center in the Historical Society uh, books there. So that's really the only thing I've done. I've really not went and done any cemetery work. Um, it's been, it's really a good time now to do that because of the, um, the weather's colder, snakes are less apt to be out and about. Um, so we hope you all are doing well. Again, uh, like this video, share it, uh, subscribe. Uh, but I just wanted to share my thoughts because, you know, we, 
Uh, a lot of people that are probably watching this, Flannery related, uh, don't live here directly in East Kentucky. Uh, but we, we, we really need to, to treasure what we have here uh, and, and don't let society, the world tell us that we need to, to be uh, somewhere else. Uh, I believe the Lord's put us here for a reason. I'm thankful for that. Uh, so, uh, take and, uh, take care of yourself. If you need anything, holler at us and we'll talk to you later on and God bless.